Hey guys, it's Sonic back with all my friends Eggman, Knuckles, and Silver. And today, guys, we're gonna be working together on a build. Is that right, Knuckles? Oh yeah, Sonic. Should we show them? Let's go! But as we run over here, guys, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for new videos on our survival world. Just over this hill right now, you guys will see a lot of flat land. And that is gonna be where today's episode takes place because collectively, we'll be making the Minecraft Zoo, okay? I don't know who's doing what yet. I think I am gonna do the aquarium mobs, like anything that uh, kind of swims. Um, so I'll be taking that. We're gonna have someone do the farm animals, and then we're gonna have two people on like exotic animals. So uh, we're gonna see if we can build the best Minecraft Zoo possible. So over there, Knuckles and Silver, they're doing the exotic animals. Ew, like pandas and ocelots and armadillos. Exactly. Eggman, yes, you are uh, old McDonald today. <gasps> old McDonald had a farm. Old McEggman had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. So you'll do that. I'm gonna take this lake and I'm gonna use it for my aquatic animal. So I think I'm gonna start off by actually building the exhibit. That way I have somewhere for the animals to come back to once I grab them. So my goal this episode is to get a salmon, to get clownfish, uh, to get an axolotl. I want to try to get a frog as well. I think that would be kind of cool. And maybe the hardest part will be getting a dolphin. We're going to have to see if we can do that. That might be impossible, but we will try. All right, guys, for my exhibit, I need a lot of glass. So I'm going to be smelting that. And I'm going to need something for the border. So I think I'm going to go try to find some calisite or or some diorite. So back down into the mines to see if we can find anything down there. Uh, and then once we have the exhibit kind of set up, we can put the animals in. And then I think after we'll do the decorating of the actual exhibit as like the last thing that we do. So I think that this will turn out well. I hope so. Uh, okay, I already found that this is diorite, right? Um, okay, good. I know my Minecraft blocks. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna take a bunch of this out and I think I'm gonna use this as like the, the bottom of the walls. You guys will see when I'm done. You'll know what I'm talking about. All right, I got two stacks of polished diorite blocks so this will look very good as the base and now we have to go check on that sand which that didn't really take me that long so i'm guessing the sand is not even close to being done yet oh i should try to get a squid and a glow squid too that actually might be kind of hard but you know what we will try let's grab every single glass that we can right now let's head over and just start doing an outline for this thing so I'm here, I want to make this lake a little bit deeper since it is only one, uh, like, block deep. Is it, would this be a lake or a pond? I guess it would be kind of like a pond. It's not really big enough to be a lake. But I'm making it a little bit deeper. Uh, that way our animals just have some uh, room to swim. Or I guess our fish. Well, I guess some of them are animals. I'm not really too sure, though. But night is uh, closing upon us here, and we're already making some pretty good progress. I'm going to do the outline as soon as I'm done just digging out this whole middle, and we can continue uh, our work on this. All right, I filled up the middle. I think I'm going to take the sand I got from that and just do an outline around this of all sand. I feel like this will look, uh, make it look a lot better when it's all done. Just have this be complete sand around the outside of it. Uh, and then we're going to go a couple blocks away from that and actually put down uh, like our foundation of where we want the walls to be so the zoo visitors uh, can take a look inside the exhibit. That's all filled out. I got my border around it. So now I'm going to go about a little bit away from it like here and we could actually start making uh, the outline of where we want the pen wall walls to actually go so i kind of just do it randomly it's just kind of whatever uh i kind of feel and we'll see what kind of looks good when we're all done how's it going over there eggman good just uh, cleaving some land so i can make my farm oh mcegman old mcegman what a classic so here is my outline right here now we're just gonna go around and fill all this in with the polished diorite and this is where our uh glass will go on top of this to sort of make the walls but i wanted to add a block underneath it obviously so it looks a little bit better and i think that this will be perfect for what i want to do i might want to get some more and make slabs to put on top of the glass but we will see uh how much i have later i actually might have enough left over to do that uh maybe not actually we're kind of uh we're kind of running low if i've at least 
32. Oh, that's not seven blocks. Okay, that is that is not seven blocks right there. But you know what? We might have enough. We might have enough to make something. But there we go. That will be our outline. Then we take the glass just like that. And we're going to have to go up one, two, three. And we're just going to have to go like this. Um, We're going to need a lot more glass. That's what I just realized. So I need to go get some, uh, some coal so I can actually smelt some glass. And done. All right. There is our full enclosure. I added these little slabs on top. These are polished andesite or diorite, sorry. The glass all around, and then we have our open and entrance door there. I also bone mealed this lake a little bit. We'll detail this more later, but I think we can start finding animals. I also dug this out around, which I am going to fill up with sand, just as a nice little path uh, around the whole thing so our visitors have like a path to walk on. It's not just in the middle of a field. So I am going to try to fill this all in. I'm not going to have enough sand right now, but I figured on my travels i could kind of collect more sand and fill it in as we go yeah i'm not even gonna be close to filling this all in i only got to about there and it goes all the way around so i'd say i got about maybe a fourth done uh considering it goes all up here oh wait maybe almost half anyway eggman what are you doing oh nothing sonic just making a farm right now a nice little barney barn oh That'll look so good, but now he's falling. Uh, I haven't seen this silver and knuckles in a bit, but they did get this panda and kind of just left them here. So um, I hope that their things are going to go well for them. I'm not really too sure, though. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to my house. I'm going to grab a couple things I need, like some buckets. And um, I might, I think that they're going to despawn if I don't. So I might as well grab some name tags. I think I have some name tags and we'll see what we can do. All right. So I had five name tags one lead and we're gonna have to grab a lot of buckets because let's think there's four different types of fish an axolotl so let's make at least five buckets okay well i think maybe oh wait that's only four let's make another one five i think that should be good i'll keep the extra iron in just in case i'll bring a crafting table just in case i might need that and let's head out some of these are gonna be really really easy to get and other ones will be harder like i think the fish are gonna be really quite simple there should just be fish in the water around here uh we will see oh there's knuckles hey knuckles hey sonic all right let's do this here will be our first one right here here is a cod boom bucket of cod very very simple and i believe i just saw a tropical fish over here oh there's clown fish oh i want a clown fish let's grab one clown fish there we go let's go and would you know it right here let's try not to get stung by this thing we have a buffer fish in a bucket that's already three down okay these were the easy ones i thought salmon would be the easiest but um i don't see a salmon so uh yeah that's not gonna be good but anyway oh there's dolphins that is gonna be a rough one to try to get i will not lie to you guys but i do know where a lush cave is because that's where i got my axolotl so let's try to go get an axolotl i kind of want to get two so i can breed my other ones because uh i need it for the end we gotta get that rare blue axolotl i will definitely put the rare blue axolotl in the zoo if i can guys i just thought of this too a sea turtle we definitely need it sea turtle so i will be grabbing one of them as well but the lush cave is through the jungle here oh, wait let me look around and see if i see any salmon i do not so um i'm stuck to the boat sea turtle sea turtle help me bro um I'll, uh, 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 okay what is going on what is going on can I, I can't i can't move i can't move help me oh there we go well 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 what do we have here it is a summon so that is now officially off the list also while i was trying to get out of the boat drop the cod but that's it that's an easy one to get we did take a little bit of a step back though i'm not gonna lie but uh let's try not to drown and i think the lush cave is right around here somewhere i just kind of forget exactly where it is oh yeah yeah i found it okay so the best way to go down is probably going to be to jump into this waterfall right here and just slowly descend down there's going to be a lot of mobs down here so we need to be careful but we are looking for two axolotl if i could find two axolotl that was be that is a mission accomplished so let's see what we can find down here all right so here is a pink one we will grab him i have yet to find another one though that was the first one that i did find so maybe maybe down here oh well okay well that's a skeleton that's definitely not what we're looking for a stupid skeleton get out of the way but um oh wait does this open up more um does not look like it well at least we have one i will 
no doubt find another. Finally, guys, we are way too deep. I don't know why that took so long, but I found the second axolotl. Um, now, now, how do I get out of here? Uh, that's the next question that has to be answered. All right, guys, now I'm hoping this works because this would be kind of huge. If I have this dolphin, hello, dolphin, and I put him on a lead, there's no way this actually works. Dolphin, you're going to have to stay close by because there is a river that we can go to that could get us right there. Hopefully, this dolphin stays by, doesn't break this lead, or that would be really bad because I might lose the lead. I, I might just want to pay attention to where I'm going, but um, around this bend, there should be a river that will take us right where we need to be. How am I going to get the dolphin and the sea turtle in the cage? Find out next time uh, in, in, a, in a little bit because I, I don't know yet. All right, guys, I am back. I do need to quickly make, though, a fence post so this dolphin does not, uh, like, just float away or, or swim away. I have to tie him to the fence post. The sea turtle should stay in the boat as well. I am worried about despawning, so I think for the fish, I'm going to let them kind of be on their own but for, and then i'm definitely gonna name tag these two so i'm gonna run back and grab some name tags just so they don't despawn uh we don't have to worry about that but uh we're looking pretty good right now we um what is going on over here silver don't ask bro okay i will i, will, I won't ask i won't ask all right since i'm back at home i'm gonna use these things right here and I'm going to name tag this one. Uh, we're going to call him Dobby. Dobby the Dolphin, obviously. And, uh, oh, I got it. I got it. Tuddy. Tuddy Turtle. Yeah. Tuddy Turtle, Dobby Dolphin. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's go back because we're going to have to figure out a way to get those dolphins and that turtle uh, actually into the uh, thing. So, yeah, that'll that'll be fun. Um, guys, I lost my dolphin. Um, I don't know where he was. He, he despawned. We're going to name Tuddy, though. That way he's good forever. He will never despawn now. Um, okay, I'm going to have to get my fish and my axolotls into this pond, and hopefully they don't re despawn. I don't really know how this works, so I'm just going to hope for the best. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep them all till the end let's just oh, wait wait do i have a crafting table let's just put them in a bucket and then we'll put them in at the very end and that way if they despawn they despawn i won't care i just won't do it too early you know what i mean like why do it now when we could do it later so we'll keep a little chest right next to the door right here of all the animals we already have i actually can take one home though so i'm gonna do that um and i'm gonna throw in the decorations that i bought too which are all of those things and ah. Uh, Okay, so he despawned. Tutty Turtle is in the boat, and there is a squid right here. At least I still have the lead. Are you serious? Where did the lead go, bro? Um, what? All right, my lead breaking really put a damper on things because we need to now either wait. By the way, my axolotl has a new home now. But we need to either wait for a wandering trader or I don't think I have any slime balls, which I do not. Yay. All right, it'll be fine. Let's not panic. Okay, let's panic. Let's actually panic. What do we do here? Because I gave my other lead to silver and he's using it. I don't want to be like a jerk and be like, hey, give it back because they also need it just as bad as I do. Huh. Okay, so like, let's think about this. Uh, I do have to go to a swamp because I wanted to get a frog, but that's like really, really far away. And uh, at least I could find slimes there, I think. Uh, I, oh, I just don't know what to do. All right, well, guys, I have no other choice. I have to find a swamp, and I don't think that there's any close, so this could be a long boat ride, but it's worth it. And hopefully we can find a frog. All right, guys, I've traveled about 3,000 blocks, and I have finally found myself a uh, swamp so that is absolutely awesome if we could just get a frog in the boat that would be amazing i would also like to get some slime unfortunately it's not nighttime and unfortunately it's not raining so i don't know if i should stay here till nighttime or i'm gonna grab some of these lily pads too that i'm crashing into because those might be able to help me out later with some decorating but let's go see if we can find ourselves a frog all right guys so i found frogs but I have no way of getting them back because I don't have a lead unless I, like, shove one into the boat. But the boat is all the way over there. Wait, why did I do this? I should have just drove the boat upstream. <laughs> then we might have a chance. All right, so I've refound the frogs. These actually might be different frogs, but I'm going to see if I could get this guy 
Inside a boat. Come on, buddy. Come on, just get inside the boat. You know you want to. Um, are you serious? Get inside the boat, you stupid frog. No. Oh my gosh, where did he go? Get back here. Okay, we'll, we'll try this guy. We'll try this guy. He looks up and he jumped away as soon as I placed the boat. Okay, um, are you serious right now, frogs? Are we being actually legit right now? <laughs> yes! Frog in the boat. I know you can't see. I know you can't see, but he's in there. Yep, there he is right there. Let's go. Okay, frog in the boat secured. So now I'm gonna wait till nighttime and hopefully get some slimes. Oh my gosh, guys, I have finally made it back. Okay, so he will not despawn in that boat. Perfect, and I didn't end up getting any slime or any leads. I know, I know, it's kind of annoying, but Nuggles says that he does have a lead for me. I think it would be, uh, wait, oh, it's right here. Uh, thank you, Eggman. Wait, I say Knuckles, I forget who I said, but no, Eggman had a lead for me, so thank you, Knuck uh, Egg Oh my god, I'm getting so confused. It's Eggman, not Knuckles. Okay, I'm sorry, but thank you, Eggman. I'm gonna go back, get every single name tag for every single thing I want to do. Uh, and then we'll be cooking up a storm. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there, and I could not be more excited. The only problem is, is how we're going to get them inside the exhibit. That that might be a hard one. All right, let's go to the name tagging. All right, so we're going to need one for the, the frog. Let's name him Froggy, because uh, Biggs would want me to do that. So I'm going to just name him Froggy. I feel like that's a good name. All right, then we need one for the glow squid. Obviously, that'll be glowy. No, wait, wait, wait shiny yeah i like that better i like that better then we're gonna need one for the regular squid and we'll call him obviously inky all right so we have dobby inky uh froggy and shiny that we still need to get they all end in y because that's the way i want it to be so don't judge me at all let's go back and start getting them some of them at least into the exhibit so we don't have to worry about that anymore the frog and the turtle actually will not be that bad with the lead but the other one might be a problem the dolphin that, and the and the squid and the glow squid those might be a little bit interesting because if they're in the air too long they die i might have to make like a channel system maybe I don't really know. We're going to have to figure it out. All right, so now we'll break you out, little froggy. Uh, we'll, we'll get your thing, froggy. There you go, froggy. And uh, we will get you on a lead, and we will walk you over to where you need to be, which is inside the exhibit. He will be the first actual animal uh, inside. Oh, this might be a little bit difficult, bro. How are we going to... Wait, because I got to, like... Get him in. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay. It wasn't that difficult. All right. Sweet. Froggy, welcome to the exhibit. I hope you have a great time in there. Now we can come over to Mr. Uh, Tutty, which is right here. Okay. How do I do this without killing him? Tutty, you're going to... Oh, no. I'm going to get stuck in the boat again, aren't I? Oh, my gosh. I didn't. Yay. Okay. There we go. Tutty, don't go anywhere. Tutty. Tutty. Tutty, where are you going? T Bro. Wait. Can I not put Tutty on a lead? I get over here. I can't put... You can't put sea turtles on leads. Um, what? Oh, no. Did I just mess up really bad? Tutty, Tutty, get in the boat. Oh, no. This is not good. Guys, I can't get Tutty back in the boat, and Froggy just escaped. So, I don't know why. <laughs> Things are not going well, bro. Things are not going well. I just need this guy to get on the surface. Go on the surface. Go on the surface, not back in the water. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll get him. I'll get him. I promise, okay? Okay. Um, That is so not good, man. That is so not good. Ah, uh, this is a disaster. Okay, Daddy's back on the surface. We got to quickly get him into a boat. Toddy, get into the boat now. Toddy, get into the boat. Go. I'm going to push him in. I'm just going to shove him. There we go. Okay. Now we can go over. Oh, wait. Where's the frog? Oh, my God. I forgot about the frog. We got to get the frog in the cage, too. This is so not good, man. Okay. Okay. Froggy, you're going to go inside the cage, and you're going to go in timeout because you've been really, 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 really bad. Oh, I got a gift from Eggman. You guys see that? All right. Froggy, get over here. You're going back in the cage whether you like it or not. Go. Oh my gosh. Froggy, get in here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Froggy, I need you to stay on a lead somewhere where you can't jump out. So let's hope that's right there. Okay, you stay there, Froggy. Okay, let's go get Tutty now because he's over here. So we are just going to drive Tutty up and I will put him in. Oh, how am I going to fit him? Oh no, that's not good. Okay. Um, ah. Uh... 
Okay, this is not gonna go well, is it? Yo, Eggman gave us a name tag, Ominous Bottle. Wait, how did he get that? And an Amethyst Shard. Okay, that is pretty sweet of Eggman. I just realized I could just break this down just like that. And then we'll just drive Tutty into here. See how easy that was? And now Tutty can be in his brand new home. And he wants to leave. He wants to leave. He wants to leave. No, Tutty, you have to stay in there forever. Okay, I'm sorry, buddy. I do not make the rule. Tutty, Tutty. Oh my god, he wants to climb out. Okay, we gotta block it all. So he... <laughs> what is going on with these animals, man? There! We're all fixed. Everything's back to normal. We have two animals in. Oh, all right, I'm gonna need to borrow another lead from Eggman. I hope he doesn't mind at all because I'm gonna go steal it from him and I really hope he doesn't mind. I hope he didn't take him. Did he take him? I'm really, really scared. Did he take him? Did he take him? Did he take him? He didn't. Okay, okay, we're just gonna steal one and we're just gonna run away like nothing happened and we're gonna go try to get... Oh, no, we have to try to get the dolphin. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait. Let's try to get a squid first. Okay, hear me out. This might work. If Tuddy swims up this waterfall and escapes, I will be so mad. <laughs> anyway, let's hope we can put a squid on a lead. Now, there should be glow squid. They're just way down there. Okay, so we can't do that yet. So let's not focus on that. Let's try to get a squid. Okay, we have a squid. You will forever be Inky. Come on, Inky. We got to go. And we really better hope that this works or else we are going to be absolutely uh, done for. Okay, the lead just broke. <laughs> Inky! All right, maybe let's go a little bit slower. Come on, Inky. Come on. Uh, Inky, that is not the right way to go, bro. You have to come this way. Okay, Inky, you are being an idiot right now. There we go. Okay, Inky's going to come over here, and we just have to get him up this waterfall and into the exhibit. So can we do that? Okay. Um. Oh, wait. No way this works. No way this is going to work. Um, Inky. Um, dude, you need to get up the waterfall, bro. Come on. Come on, Inky. Up the waterfall. There you go. There you go, Inky. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, so this isn't working like I thought it would. So we're gonna have to make the executive decision to break this down so Inky can get through, uh, this way. So Inky, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to swim here, buddy. You're gonna have to swim. No, Inky! Inky, no! Inky, live, Inky! Oh my gosh, that was scary. Inky, do not die on me, buddy. We need you alive, Inky. We need you alive. Okay, you need to get into here. Come on, come on. Inky, Inky, where are you going? You have to come this way, buddy, okay? Oh, okay, this will be a lot easier to get everything in. So we'll just go like that. And Inky is now officially in the exhibit. No, why you want to swim back to the ocean? It is nice in here, Inky, and you will like it. Okay, okay, Inky, let's just go like that. Perfect. Okay, let's just grab this before Tuddy escapes and put that up right there. Let's put a name tag on Inky. There it is. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this is actually like kind of work. Inky, you stay in the water, okay? Do not die. Why are you... Is he gonna, okay, he's just, okay, I thought he was just being an idiot. He's good, he's good. I don't think he could jump a block, so he should be fine. And then we're just gonna use dirt for now and kind of just fill that in. And there should be like a current. Okay, wait, wait, let's grab a little bit of water from here and then get out and then there should be a current like this to kind of like help them out or we'll put it here so it pushes them that way. Yes, okay, this might actually work, question mark. Oh, okay, now for the hard part, we have to get a glow squid from all the way down there. Can I even survive this? We're gonna find out right now. Dive, 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 go, go, go. Okay, I just need to grab one. Go, 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 bring him to the surface. Oh no, the lead broke. Wait, there's no way the lead broke, bro. Okay, wait, I got him up a little bit. So maybe we just gotta do this a little bit at a time. Okay, where are you going? Stop going back down. Glowy or shiny, shiny, not glowy, shiny. Stop going back down. You want to go up. Oh, wait. Look how close he is up. Wait, wait. Where'd the lead go? Wait. No, where'd the lead go? Oh, wait. Why is the lead at the surface? That happened really, really quickly. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. I need to catch my breath. <gasps> okay. We're fine. Okay. Stop going down. You need to come upwards. This is actually a little bit uh, easier than I thought it was going to be. As soon as I get to the surface, we are golden. Let's get you inside there, shiny. 
Shiny, stop going that way, okay? You need to come over here, Shiny. There you go, okay. Just like that, we have Shiny in the exhibit. Okay, let me go block this off real quick so no one else escapes. He's not connected to me anymore, is he? Oh, he still is. Okay, well, there, there. You can't escape now, Shiny. You live here now, okay? I'm gonna go like that, and then I will put your name tag on you, and boom! We have Shiny in the vicinity as well. Okay, this is going really, 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 really well. Oh, whoa, we're actually doing this. I cannot believe it. All right, let's go get a dolphin. And there's a dolphin right there below us. I am going to grab some kelp just because I think it would be cool to have inside the tank. So I'll grab us some of that really, really quickly just while we're here. The dolphin already likes me. You are the new Dobby. I don't know what happened to the other one. He died or something. Come on, new Dobby. Let's get you home. All right, you were definitely the easiest out of all. Um, why are my squids ink sacks? What happened? All right, you know what? Oh, you know what? Yeah, oh, uh, uh, I just can't even. I can't even. I Okay, I guess they both died. So, you know what? It's okay. I, I just don't care about them anymore. We have you in, and you will live here now. Your name is... Where are you? Dobby. I, I can't believe my squids died, bro. <laughs> my squids are dead. No. Wait, 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 wait. Let's put, a, let's put a chest in the middle right here with their remains, and we'll say, uh, Inky... <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, Dobby, can you get out of here? I'm trying to write something serious. Inky and uh, Shiny. They died. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm going to die in a second if I don't stop this. All right, they're all in. We're all good. I need some glass. I did get a bunch of sand as well. Um, so we could do kind of this, uh, the, the sand ring around. And then I just have to decorate. We should be fine. If I come back and Dobby is dead, I'm going to be so mad. All right, exhibit decoration time. Ow, I just slammed the door in my face. All the animals are still here, right? Besides the two dead squid, we're good. So the first thing I want to do is put a sapling of that right there. This is a mangrove tree I got from when I was in the uh, swamp. And hopefully we get a cool looking tree. Um, What is that, bro? That is not a cool looking tree. What? Okay, maybe if we're lucky and I do another one. It'll look cool on top of it. Okay. Oh, wow. I thought it wasn't going to grow. Um, I think I just trapped my dolphin. No, he's okay. He's just being an idiot right now. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he is fine. And let's see. Yeah, that looks, I, I like that. That looks cool. Okay. Now it actually looks like a, a singular good tree. With that by our frog, we can put some, uh, like maybe some roots down over here. I know this kind of blocks the view of the visitors, but um, that's okay. It'll kind of look cool. Like there's like a little rooted vill uh, where the frog actually lives. Hopefully he just doesn't jump up here and uh, jump out and escape. I just kind of thought about that and I hope he doesn't do that. Then for Axolotl, we can have some nice little uh, things like that. I actually am going to put some moss down right here and then just glowstone it or glowstone it, bone meal it just like this. Uh, and then that way we have a nice little uh, section over here, but we're going to need to spruce it up. And that's why I have some of these, which are the flowering azaleas that we kind of replace instead. So it just looks a little bit uh, prettier over here. Maybe let's throw some lily pads in the water as well, especially over here by the frog. So he has a couple places to jump on if he likes, if he wants to, since he is kind of roped up up there. I have some kelp that we can put at the bottom so that will grow and look kind of nice then i'll get some leaves and just kind of do some uh some nice little bushes i don't really want to block the view like too much uh but just some bushes and then especially back here where it's a little bit more empty we'll have like a, just a couple other bushes like that and then maybe a bush right here and then we gotta just bone meal uh let's see if we get some flowers up in here because there's kind of a it's kind of flowerless right now we also have some sugar cane that adds to the back of this area and kind of around the pond uh so we could have some sugar cane sections just like uh that kind of we also have some sugar cane that i'm gonna end up adding over here and then maybe a little bit over here as well just to kind of look uh nice and that can grow and then the last thing that we do have is some bamboo i'm gonna put it back in this corner to kind of correlate with what they're doing over there um but just have a little bit of bamboo maybe like there uh there 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 like a little a little sporadic all over the place and then uh we'll just grow these okay i can't actually grow all of them so they're gonna have to grow on their own 
Oh, wait, I had some bones. Okay, we can grow them, okay. So we'll just grow them a little tiny bit, and then the, uh, that way they can grow the rest of the way themselves. But that way we just have some taller structures in the background, some bamboo, and I think that this is a very nice aquatic area. Now right here, since I'm waiting for everyone else to kind of uh, finish up, I thought I would spruce up the zoo a little bit. So my goal is I want to spell out zoo on top of this platform right here. Um, and then I'll make it look really nice after. But let's start with the Z and see if I can get a Z. Z looks good. Now we just have to add the two O's in, which shouldn't be that hard. There we go. I spelled out zoo. Now we just add a couple of bushes in front of it, like one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll do that on the other side, kind of spruce it up. And then I'm going to want to get sand and kind of connect these paths more. So it makes a little bit more sense when you're like viewing the animals and there's like a there's like a path that like you go on. Whoa, you guys got a camel. Yeah, dude, we got a camel. That's so sick. Yup, it's going over here. All right. Well, I am just putting in the things. Looks like they still have to put their animals. Obviously, we still have to put in our fish. But I'm quickly filling this in because I think this is starting to look really nice. We have a zoo sign. We have uh, like some paths here. I might want to get a couple more leaf blocks as well. Um, and I want to use my dirt that I just got to fill in this because it's kind of annoying me that my like sand path has this like a little divot next to it. So I'm just going to fill this in quickly. And our zoo is almost open. I'm actually... I won't lie, guys. I think we did actually pretty good. Like, when it's all said and done, this is going to look awesome. The one thing I will say about myself is that I'm definitely a perfectionist. I like when things are perfect. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I need to add a little bit more detail around these places because I just think that it would be nice to have some more detail. Um, so I'm going to make some little park benches just like this so we can actually like sit and watch the exhibits. So maybe like one there and then maybe I'll put another. Is this? Uh, oh, that would be so much better if it was four, but it's okay. I'll just make one that's two and I'll make another one one right little here just so you have little places to sit while you're looking at the zoo as well as we're gonna need some light posts just like that very very easy nothing too crazy uh that way it just makes it look a little bit nicer and there's a little bit more uh to look at i guess um in in terms of that is definitely not right but just little stuff like this i think makes the build look so much better so i'm gonna be adding these just around the zoo so we have them and because I have to, I'm going to add some bushes as well. I mean, I don't have to. I just think that it looks nicer. So I'm going to be adding some bushes that you can look at the different exhibit uh, that, I mean, kind of fill in a little space around the exhibits. Like I'll put a bush right here. It just makes the build like look nicer and more complete when you have things like this. So, th I mean, that's literally the only reason I'm doing it. Uh, and we only, we only have three bushes left. We must use them wisely. Let's find a good spot for them. Eggman, Silver, it's officially time to open our zoo. Dude, let's go! Oh, finally! Exactly! All right, guys, welcome to our zoo. Uh, that says 200. It says zoo. It says 200. I see it both ways. I like it. I like it. Don't touch Eggman. Do not touch it. Okay, I built it. Whatever, whatever. All right. Uh, let's go to mine over here first, guys. So this is the aquatic section. I'm only saying let's go to mine because I didn't place the animals in yet. Wait, what? Well, they're going to despawn. I know they are. So I'm just going to be extra careful, okay? Let me grab all the animals. And you guys come inside. All right. So we got our little frog over here. His name is Froggy. We have our dog. Uh, guys, S Sonic, uh, were you supposed to have a dolphin? Um, yeah, but I don't know where he is. Do dolphin? Uh, he he's invisible. Uh, Sonic, your dolphin is not invisible, bro. I don't see a dolphin. What are you talking about? There's no dolphin. No, he's invisible. What? Where'd the dolphin go? It's okay. He's invisible. And then we have Tuddy. And then we have uh, Cody, Axie, Sammy, uh, Puffy, and ow, screw you, Puffy, and Clowny. Well, Sonic, you did it. All the aquatic animals. Yeah, definitely not. Oh, my God. The fish already died. Let's leave mine. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. Yeah, yeah, let's leave. The aquatic is done, though. Yeah, it's it's really good. Uh, 
Nice going, Sonic. Dude, I liked it, Sonic. Oh, thank you, Silver. Thank you. All right. Then if you walk down this path, guys, you can see the other exhibit right up these leaves where Silver and Knuckles have a parrot here and a panda. Oh, look at him, Sonic. He's so cute. Yep, we worked really hard to get him. Look how cute he is. We're keeping him up so he doesn't despawn. Good idea. And then over here, they have a camel and two armadillos also in boats so they don't despawn. Oh, they have three armadillos. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's our armadillos and our cami. Uh, cami, did you just steal my name by adding a Y to the end of it? No, I wanted to name him cami. And those are Rolly, uh, Army, and Dillowy. Um, okay, okay, really, Silver, really? Well, you can see our last one. We have our B exhibit. Whoa, oh my God, that thing almost stung me. Um, he is not on his lead. Well, he probably doesn't have to be. His hive is nearby. Exactly. He is nice and friendly. Oh, well, I really like this. Yeah, this is a cool B exhibit. <gasps> to the farm. Old McEggman had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a... Big E-I-E-I-O with an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Okay, guys, let's not do this for the whole thing. Well, we got our chickies or our cuckies. Uh, and then over here, we have our cowies. And then we have our sheepies or woolies. That's sheepy, woolly, uh, deddy, and muttony. Deddy. Uh, that's what I named him, Sonic. And then who, who are these guys? That's Muddy, uh, Fatty, Fatty, Bacony, Bacony, and Porky. Okay, I like Porky. That's a good one. And who are these? Cucky, Eggy, Feathery, and Bucky. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, can you name me all these, please? Uh, that's um, uh, Milky, Spotty, and Hoofy. Nice, Eggman. I, I like all the names. Uh, by the way, the bee's name is Stingy, and the panda's name is Bambooey, and the parrot's name is Parody. <laughs> That's our zoo! That's our zoo! I would say that this is actually a pretty good survival zoo. Despite all my animals did die. Let's go check how many died. I think it's gonna be a lot, though. Um, oh, no, I still see some of the fish, and the frog, and... Uh, oh my god, the frog is dying. The frog just got poisoned. No! Froggy, stay alive! Okay, that pufferfish needs to die. I can't. I want the frog to live more than the pufferfish. Okay, where is the pufferfish? He has to die right now. Um, pufferfish? Wait, where? Uh, you see it? Uh, dude, he's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh, let's just take care of him. Ow! No, there he is. He's still alive, guys. He's still alive. He's right there. You don't see him. All right, guys. Let's go. It is time to do our axolotl thing. I also want to get a view of the farm from up here. So, wait, let's go up here real quick. There it is, guys. Our zoo. Wait, zooey? Oh, did I do that? Dude, Eggman. Well, everything else was zoo. All right, that's our zooey. All right, guys. Well, there's only one thing left to do. I will get my buckets of tropical fish. We will head over to our axolotl, guys. Rate in the comments, what would you rate our zoo out of 10? I actually think it's really good. The builds are good. The animals are good. And it's just awesome overall. So let me know what you guys would rate it down below. But of course, of course, it's time for a little axolotl breeding. Could you? Um, guys, what just happened? Okay, I just like accidentally put them in there. Okay, wait, are they in love? Wait, I don't think this guy's in love anymore. Oh, wait, are they in love? Um, okay, I gotta go get a tropical fish. Sonic! Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay, there's some right here, relax. Guys, if we get the rare blue axolotl on the first one in this world, that would be crazy. I don't think it's gonna happen though, but it would be insane if it did happen. Well, we're waiting, Sonic, what are you waiting for? I'm coming, I'm coming, relax. All right, so let's feed that guy. Oh, I just did it again. I just actually, wait. Um, is it working? Wait, it's working! Wait, is it working? Um, I don't think it's working. Sonic, you did it! Okay, okay, one second. All right, let's try this one more time. Uh, okay, and, uh, okay, okay. They're both in love. Now get in the water and, and, and have a baby. Why are they having a baby? They love each other. Wait, wait, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Oh my God, we did, oh, we didn't get it, but we still got a little baby one. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like, and as always, don't forget to.